Hey everyone, welcome to Astro Scoop. This is Jeff, the astrology coaching channel that does a deep dive into the planets and signs of the zodiac. Today's video is the full moon in Gemini. Happy full moon. So the full moon occurs when the sun is in Sag and it opposes its opposite sign of Gemini. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. Please consider subscribing. I've noticed many viewers lately are not subscribed, so please consider subscribing. If you're coming back to support me, once again, I truly appreciate it. So today is December 7th, 2022. This full moon in Gemini occurs at 16 degrees of Gemini. So this is the Gemini 2 energy or the second decanate of Gemini. And a full moon in Gemini energy occurs when it's opposing that Sagittarius fire sun. So we have the fire ego or the fire identity and we have the moon in Gemini, which is all about thoughts. So Gemini moon energy, especially full moon energy, is at its peak in Gemini. So we could kind of say that this Gemini energy is makes up its own language, so to speak. <laughs> and if you know anyone that's a Gemini moon, now I'm not talking about sun in Gemini, I'm talking about just Gemini moon because this is the Gemini full moon. So if any of you have a Gemini moon in your chart, you'll know that these people are very interesting and very changeable. They can be quiet one moment, they can be extremely chatty the next moment, they can be a live wire and life of the party the next moment, and then in deep thought reading something five minutes later. So they're always changing and the way they express themselves, you'll find that they have a unique language, if you will, depending on the rest of the chart. So let's take a brief look at the planets about this Gemini moon. So now we're moving along further. We're right smack dab in the middle here at 16 degrees of Sagittarius. This is the second decanet of Sag. So the first decanet that I just explained in my other video is ruled by Jupiter. This is a Mars decanet. So this adds an Aries type flavor and energy to these Sagittarians born this week. So here's the moon in Gemini at 16 and here's the Sag at 16, the opposition here. So I talked about a year ago, I believe I did this video and I talked about Sag and Gemini. So the moon in Gemini, as I mentioned before, is all about communication. And this particular Gemini degree at 16 is the second Gemini decanate. So here you can see all these 16s, right? So you have Mars energy, the moon is feelings, and you have the earth here at 16. So if you include the earth, some astrologers don't, but I'm including it today, this focal point, you have a stellium or grouping in Gemini at 16. So for a while now, we've had this Mars and Gemini retrograde and it's been opposing some of the Sag planets. So now we have a very, very strong concentration of thought air energy to balance out this fire energy. And the interesting thing is I have one family member that has this combination. He has the sun in Sagittarius and the moon in Gemini. And he very much typifies this combination. And he's a very, very chatty, cordial, sociable guy, very nice guy. And, but he also has a quiet side. So Gemini is very chatty. But when it comes to matters of the heart or becoming too personal, sometimes this Gemini energy runs for the hills. They, want, they don't want to be trapped. They want freedom and they want that space to move and pivot. So think of it that way. It's kind of pivoting, right? So Gemini is very, very quick. Now Sag is also restless. So this is, can be an incredibly restless position. The sun in Sag is ruled by Jupiter and Pisces, like I mentioned, adding some water element. And the moon in Gemini is ruled now by Mercury in Capricorn. So it just went in, you can see it's one degree here. It just went in conjuncting from Venus late in Sag. So Mercury in Capricorn is much more serious and a grounded kind of mentality rather than the Sagittarius. So this is actually good for a Gemini moon today to have this grounded Mercury energy. So all of you Gemini people, if you have Gemini 
planets in your chart or you have Sagittarius planets or you're born this week, you will feel this activation of energy. And hopefully you'll feel in a good way and it will give you the energy and healing that you need to take on your projects. And here we have Virgo at this time, 1108 with the full moon, Virgo is actually on the ascendant. So that's interesting because normally we don't really have any Virgo right now. There's not a strong uh, influence of Virgo, but here we have the Virgo influence. So this actually full moon chart is ruled by Mercury. So it's a very mercurial day. Time for good communications with your friends and family and yourself and lighthearted fun. So that is your goal. Well, thanks so much for hanging with me today and talking about the full moon in Gemini. I hope you have a wonderful, safe full moon. Until the next one, stay safe and be yourself. Music